Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Nuclear energy has the potential to provide a reliable, carbon-free source of baseload energy. However, we cannot hold a hearing on the future of nuclear energy without addressing the 88,000 ton elephant in the room, nuclear waste. Before we build a new generation of reactors, we need to have a clear plan for how to dispose of spent fuel. The Rancho Seco nuclear power plant in my district was shuttered over 30 years ago, and yet we are still dealing with the spent fuel. I'm pleased to see the Department of Energy take this problem seriously with a consent-based siting approach. I have led efforts to support annual funding for this program at DOE, and they also lead the Store Nuclear Fuel Act, which would authorize an interim storage program at DOE. Dr. Goff, I was encouraged to see DOE's funding announcement in June to advance the conversation around consent-based siting for spent nuclear fuel. Dr. Goff, how will these 13 grants translate into the next stage of eventually siting a spent fuel storage facility? Uh, thank you for the question, and thank you for the support in this activity. Uh, we are excited to be able to move forward on this consent-based siting for potentially a federal interim storage facility. Uh, we are looking at this as being a three-phase process. This first phase that we're in right now with the consortium, the 13 different uh, consortiums that were awarded, is really focused on planning and capacity building. You know, the next phase will be focused more on screening and assessments of siting, and then the final phase will be more toward negotiation and implementation. But right now, these 13 teams uh, will be helping us be able to you know, build, have capacity building within the different communities and within the different stakeholders. So those uh, entities that are spread out across the country will be able to interface with different communities and stakeholders that want to learn and understand more about uh, potentially siting one of these facilities. So they'll be able to make awards from those consortium to again help them understand and be able to know how they want to move forward into the next process and help inform us as well on how we need to take this into the next pro next stage as well within the department. Okay. Um, in DOE's April report on the consent-based siting process, you state that while DOE is focused on consolidated interim storage facilities, you're also pursuing a comprehensive integrated strategy for spent nuclear fuel, and you expect the siting of interim storage could inform the siting a permanent disposal. Dr. Goff, can you provide an update on where DOE is with developing a comprehensive strategy for siting long-term disposal of spent fuel? Yes, we do recognize that we need to go beyond interim storage. So we do need to have, again, kind of a, a th three-phased approach. We need to have an integra uh, integrated storage process, transportation process, and eventually geological disposal as well. Um, we've talked about what we're doing in the integrated storage. We are continuing to do you know, research and development type activities to help us be able to move forward on both the transportation and the geological disposal as well. Uh, that'll, that will support whatever type activity and whatever type repository you go into. So the, the work we're doing on a geological repository, we're doing R&D to assess a number of different type geologies. On transportation, we are working and have worked toward licensing a, a rail car to be able to transport this fuel as it leaves retired right. sites and all as well. So we're doing a lot of activities to make sure that we're ready to implement as implement those next stages as well sure. in the integrated process. Now, there are several international examples of countries successfully navigating the consent-based siting process for long-term geologic storage. Finland now hosts the world's first permanent site for high-level nuclear waste, and France and Switzerland have also proposed sites for long-term storage. How is DOE incorporating the lessons from other countries and how we approach long-term disposal? We are making sure that we're collaborating with all of those other countries as well. Either bilaterally, we, we are working with Finland, you know, Canada, a number of different countries like that to take their lessons learned, like I say, especially the Finns, on how they were able to cite a repository, but we're also uh, working through multilateral organizations like the Nuclear Energy uh, Alliance as well to, again, look at what the lessons are learned around the world are so we can take those and apply them to our system and hopefully also then be ones in the future to talk about our lessons learned and how other countries can apply them as well. Okay, thank you. I know 
all of us really believe that that aspect of nuclear waste is really critical to moving forward. So thank you very much. I yield back.